I'll yid my Adam Baal Tshuva. This is in Perak Zion, rather, Halacha Gimel and Hilchus Tshuva. Chapter 7, third Halacha. Don't think that Shuva is only for our various sins. That are the obvious sins. That you did something bodily. Or you did something with action. Geneva and all these things. The same way a person's got to do Shuva for the obvious sins. He's got to examine his personality. And see what kind of Midos rose he has. Bad personality traits, bad character. Philosophy, and then he gives examples. Kas, anger. How many of us are short tempered, quick tempered? We lose it. We get infuriated, we get enraged. That's a huge Avera. The Gemara Dharma says, Kalmine Gehenim Shultenbo. All Gehenim opens up for the guy who loses his temper. You walk into the house, the supper's not ready. The kids are making us crazy, and then you explode. Gehenna. The Zohar says even worse. He says you just were an idol worshiper. You know, so you think you think the Christians are bad, and the Muslims are bad, and the Buddhists are bad. When you go into your house and you open up your mouth and say the wrong things, you're worse than the Christians and the Buddhists. Are you're an idol worshiper. Ava, not getting along with people. Bickering with people, arguing with people. Kinna, jealousy! Oh, my neighbor drives a Lexus, and what about me? That's jealousy. Menahito, being frivolous, sitting there doing nothing. A Jew's never supposed to do nothing. It's the biggest sin. Do nothing? You're here to accomplish, you're here to achieve. God put you in this world, a Jew, to uplift this world, to rectify the world. What are you, just surfing the internet? You have nothing better to do. You have to, how many times do you have to look at the yeshiva world or matzav.com? Well, us is nice. Don't worry, we'll survive without you checking it a hundred times a day. The world's still here. The world will survive without you checking the news. Do something. Take a mishnayas. Learn a mishnah. Call up somebody who needs some chizuk, who's lonely. An elderly person. A single person. He's all of Aris. Redifus Mammon, trying to make more money and more money. How much money do you need? You need money to live. A Jew? A Jew's not supposed to be chasing after money, extravagant lifestyle. A Jew's supposed to give the balance to Sadaka. Kavod. Huh, I have to have honor. I went to Shul, they didn't give me Shlishi. Well, oh, chutzpah, right? No! Redifus Machos, being gluttonous, eating too much sushi, bagels and lox. Ramon goes through a whole litany of things. He says, you've got to work on your personality, work on yourself, become a better person. And then he says something even more startling. He speaks about tshuva, and he says that a person who doesn't do tshuva, he may need something, he has a sick relative. I'm sure everybody knows somebody who's ill, who needs a Yeshua, who needs a refuah, who needs healing. And you beg God, please go, please go, please go. And God doesn't answer you know why? He says, you're going to cry out to God and He's not going to answer you. Because God says, what, you want me to listen to you? You have a pipeline to me. But, but if you don't do tshuva, that's like putting a rock in the pipe. It's never going to go up. God's listening, but he's, he, he can't listen. He can't answer you. And not only that, it says you do mitzvahs, the Rambam says, B'feirish. God's going to tell you, He's going to tear up the mitzvahs that you did. You think you're accruing all these types of wonderful zchuyos, merits? God says, you, you have bad midos. I'm tearing it up. Rav Steinman, Rav Arav Leif Steinman gave a similar shear to what I'm saying now. Chashom, I don't mean to compare myself to the great Rav Arav Leif Steinman. I'm saying that he gave, he taught this Rambam publicly. And he said, that the Rambam says, if you cry out to God, he's not going to listen to you. He's going to tear up your mitzvahs. It's referring not to the Averus of immorality, of licentiousness, of unethical be- He's talking about the Averus of the soul, of the personality. Midos, ban Midos. And there was a Rosh Hashiva sitting there, and the Rosh Hashiva started hyperventilating, his heart started palpating. And he, he started, he almost got, he almost had a heart attack. He says, What? What? I never knew this. Is it true? And Rosh Steinman felt bad, acknowledging that was true, because he thought the guy's going to die on the spot. So he started hemming and hawing. You don't want to. But Rav Steinman later on said, it's absolutely true. 
When the Rambam speaks about Baal Shuba, it's not talking about the people that come to BGX that are secular, right, that never understood about God, and all of a sudden you'll see them, you'll see this like amazing metamorphosis where Baal they're going to Yeshiva, right? Baal we see them all the time. That's not what it's talking about Baal Shuba. Baal is talking about somebody who has rotten personality, who's not nice, who gets into fights, who's jealous, who's an ingrate. When he gets better, he's the Baal Shuba.